Hello and welcome to this video on road markings. Road markings are very important. In fact, they are vital because they enable us to read the road and plan ahead. They also help us position correctly and keep us safe. There are basically four different types of road markings. Firstly, we have the markings running across the road directly in front of us. Secondly, we have the road markings on the side of the road. And then we have the road markings in the centre of the road. And finally, we have the road markings that control traffic, that keep us safe. So what I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to be going for a little drive and I'm going to I'm going to explain all these road markings to you and uh, what they mean, how to identify them. So I'm just going to move off from here. We're going to start off with the road markings running across the road. So the first marking I've got here is the give way lines. So the double broken lines means that I must give way to traffic on the main road, whether that traffic is coming from the right or whether it's coming from the left. A lot of people think that they just need to give way to traffic on the right because the traffic on the left will be on the other side of the road. However, sometimes you do get overtaking traffic on the main road. So it is important that you can see both ways. At the end of this road, we've got a stop line. So it's not a give way line, it's a stop line. The give way line earlier on was broken. This stop line is a solid white line running across the road, meaning I must come to a complete stop before proceeding. So we had the double broken line in front of us, which is the give way line to traffic on both sides of the road, on the main road. We had the solid white line, which is the stop line. And then we get the giveaway lines at mini roundabouts, the smaller roundabouts. That is one line running across, but it's a broken line, like the one in front of us. So here I've got a broken line, meaning I must give way to traffic on my right. So the broken single line meant that I need to give way to traffic on the right, whereas the double broken line meant I need to give way to traffic on both sides of the road. So here I've got a solid line in front of me. So a solid line as I mentioned earlier, is a stop line. Whereas the solid line without the traffic lights meant I must stop and make sure both sides are clear. The solid line here means I must stop unless the lights are green. So it doesn't matter whether the lights are red, I need to stop. 
whether the lights are amber I need to stop whether the lights are red and amber together I still need to stop I need to wait until the lights are green before proceeding okay now that we've covered the the road markings that run in front of us let's move on to the road markings in the center of the road now here we've got two broken lines with chevrons in between that is just there to keep the traffic apart now I'm going to be taking the next turning on the right and I can enter into the chevrons if it's safe to do so that is because the borderline of the chevrons is broken if the borderline was solid unbroken then I must not enter the chevrons I've got to keep in my lane and move in only when the chevrons finish so these lines here the on the outside they are broken lines long lines with short gaps if that was a continuous line then I would not be able to go on across the chevrons now in front of me in the distance I can see two solid white lines if there's a solid line on my side of the road that means I must not overtake so I'm I must not pass that line I must not cross the line the traffic coming up the other way they should not pass it either however now I cannot pass but the traffic coming the other way they may come onto my side of the road that is because they have got broken lines on their side and now here we've got long lines but the gaps are short these are hazard lines warning me of a hazard whereas here the hazard lines have disappeared they've got long gaps and short lines so these are just there to divide the road up and now again we've got the hazard lines the hazard being in this case the junction on my right there and the junction on the left now again I've got solid lines so no overtaking these arrows here is telling people if they were overtaking to come back into position so the arrows there just say overtaking traffic must come back into position that is because the solid line is approaching so it's just giving them an advance warning So once again we've got this line here the arrow just warning me that the road is narrowing and I must come back into position again I can see another arrow there again it's telling me if anyone is overtaking well it's telling them if anyone is overtaking to come back 
into position before the solid line. Okay, now that we've done the road markings in front of us and the road markings in the centre of the road, let's move on to the ones on the side of the road. So here we've got a broken line, a cycle line. It's quite a narrow road so if I need to I can use the cycle lane. That is because the borderline of the cycle lane is broken. If the cycle lane was unbroken, if it was a solid line, then I must not use it during the hours of operation. Now, another line that you'll find on the side of the road is a yellow line running along the curb. Like on the right here, we've got a yellow line and we've got one on the left now. That is a parking restriction. So it basically means no parking during certain hours of the day. For example, like between the hours of 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. And then we have the double yellow lines which means the same as a single yellow line but with extended hours. Usually on a double yellow line it's no parking 24-7 but on some yellow lines you may you may be able to park there depending on the restrictions which will be on the time plate. Now here on the side of the road we've got this parking box. It just it's just a designated area for for parking. That's all it is. Sometimes you will find zigzag lines on the side of the road. The white zigzags, like here, we get on approach to pedestrian crossings. They basically mean no parking and no overtaking 24-7. You sometimes find yellow zigzags outside of school. That would mean no parking but they've they usually have restrictions as to when you cannot park there and that'll be normally during school times well let's move on to the final phase which is road markings that uh, control traffic for example here in front of us this road marking is telling me that I must turn right so I can't I cannot go any other way of road markings which uh, help us control which controls traffic is a box junction like the one in front here a box junction basically means that you should not enter the box unless your exit is clear so I want to turn right there so that's what I need to look at, my exit, make sure the exit is clear. So my exit is clear and I can proceed into the box. Even though I can't, I can't turn due to the oncoming vehicles, I can safely wait in the box as long as I like, provided one, my exit is clear and two, I'm prevented from turning 
because of the oncoming vehicles. So now that the lights are changing red, the oncoming vehicles will stop and that gives me time to turn. Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for today. I really do hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you have, then please do give the thumbs up as uh, thumbs up helps us to make more videos. If you're a subscriber to our channel, I'd like to say thank you. If you're not a subscriber, then now is the time to do so. Thank you for watching.